Uh, this young man that's about to uh, present some education, knowledge, and thought for you to take out when you leave this institution into the industry, uh, going to be very helpful and beneficial to you. This man, name is uh, Shantae Powell. So Mr. Powell, you know, is the owner of World Class Cut. Businessman, entrepreneur, barber, designer. He do all type community service. And he a man of God. Most of all, you know what I mean? That what, that what impressed me so much, you know what I mean? Not his accomplishment in all uh, the things that he had gave back to the industry. He even came back today to share some of his knowledge with you. Now, he gonna share with you, and I need you to share with him. Now, don't hold back on now. If you got some questions, that you need to ask that we have explained to you in full detail and it left some doubt in the back of your mind, ask him about it. I'm pretty sure he can clear it up. So, without further ado, I introduce to some and present to others Mr. Powell, the owner of World Class Cuts. Appreciate you, sir. Yes, sir. How y'all doing today? All right. I understand that this is the fourth level. Fourth level. Okay, so soon you guys will be coming out and being business owners and going to the other shops and working inside of those shops, correct? All right, cool. Well, uh, just like you know, Mr. Harris said, man, you know, the destiny and the path that you guys want to travel is all up to you. We got a lot of people who get into this industry for the, the benefits. And uh, I'm going to tell you now, if you don't have a passion for it, it ain't going to work. Uh, along with being self-employed and having all those luxuries and benefits, it's a lot of things that go with that. And one is uh, self-discipline. Uh, if you don't have self-discipline in the industry, man, you're not going to make it because uh, you don't have somebody per se telling you what to do, how to do it, the whole nine. Uh, I've been a business owner for five years, and uh, it's, it's, it's been a struggle. It's a lot of perks that come along with it, uh, but through all the struggle and, and everything else you go through, I appreciate it because... Just like Harris said, if it was given to me, I probably wouldn't even do right by my business. So all the struggle and the sacrifices make me strive harder to pursue my dreams and move forward in my business. Uh, I want to start out the day, man, by pretty much getting you guys' names and what your why is as to why you want to pursue uh, the life of being a barber. And uh, let's, let's start on this side. My name is Mr. Logan. Um, my reason for this will is to leave a legacy behind for my kids to have something. Absolutely. Uh, and to help those who are fortunate at times. Okay. Okay. After I'm coming here, all the opportunities that it opened up. Yes. Right. Great platform. Yes, sir. Uh, um, why I'm here is I was uh, searching for something I can do for myself, but it's working for somebody else. It's something I can do with my hands for myself. Yeah, my name is Mike. And the reason I started out as a barber is because just like ever since I was young, I just like the atmosphere of being in the shop and being around like just older dudes that lead you in the right direction. So I can go and do the same Camaraderie, That's fellowship. Good. I'm not cutting hair. It's going to carry me through, so I'm in. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Kevin Cole. Initially, 
I didn't want to be a barber. I just wanted to be a barber owner, <coughs> a barbershop owner. Mm -hmm. So I was just thinking about, okay, as an entrepreneur spirit inside of me, I was like, okay, I want to invest in something that I like the industry, but I don't have to be there every day. I can be out making money other kind of ways and mm -hmm. just kind of make money, you know, that way as well. Then I started, you know, cutting hair. And I said, well, I got to go to school. I want to learn about it because whatever I do, I, I want to know about it in depth. Mm -hmm. So I started cutting and I liked, liked it a lot, you know. So I said, okay, I'm going to take it serious. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at now. You know, I'm learning uh, cutting skills and learning about the business aspects of it. And I'm in the process of opening my own barbershop and salon with my wife. And so that's where I'm at right now. Absolutely. Sounds good. My name is Patricia Pickett. Um, I'm here because I actually like cutting hair. Um, I like dealing with certain people. I like leaving mass impression. Um, I like to make people look good. Okay. That's good. Okay. Hi, my name is Travis Harden. Um, uh, the reason why I want to, per se, cut hair, do hair, do whatever, to hair, I like, you know, beautifying people. I like people to make make themselves feel good about themselves. I will groom myself, the way I groom myself, I'm gonna groom you the same way. Um, not only do I wanna, this is another degree I can have with my fashion degree I'm gonna finish up. So like if I was to get on a movie set or you know, a person to sit over somebody, I can also have the cutting or styling hair on my rubber swap, mm -hmm. also with the fashion design or whatever. That's it. Um, my name is George Myers and uh, I'm looking for something after I leave my 25 years of more service than Delta, so uh, mm -hmm. worked with someone for so long, like say you want to become your own boss, mm -hmm. you got to crawl before you walk, so Absolutely. I'm doing the beginning stage to take you to my end. That's it. My name is Cree, and uh, I love cutting hair. I, I love learning how to cut hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. My name is uh, Cornell Washington. Um, I've been cutting hair. My little brother's hair ever since I was about 12, 13 years old. And, um, I wanted to go to school and get the degree for it because I always knew how to cut, but coming here to get the actual real technical knowledge, book knowledge of it gives you more of a platform to be able to talk to people and um, just... Uh, the atmosphere of it. Like you said, I've always enjoyed the atmosphere of the barbershop, but mm -hmm. I actually want to be an owner. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, um, I'm not going to say I want to cut hair forever, I, but I do want to start out doing it, but I, I have plans of being an owner. All right, my name is Charles, and I actually enjoy cutting hair. I like the fact that I can take something, uh, make I can take uh, nothing and make something out of it, and uh, I also like the fact that uh, I like it when I do a cut or style on an individual and they like it. I like doing that. I like to see my clients happy and stuff. Emotion. And also, uh, I'm at I'm pretty much at retirement age, and uh, I found something I can do that I enjoy doing because I like working. So uh, not only do I like working and I I like cutting hair, it's going it can carry me through to my bed because I just you know. I like what everybody said, man. Uh, starting out. You, you have to have a why. You got to have a why. You got to write your why down. And, uh, you know, take, take notes and set goals. Uh, if you don't have a why, I hear a lot of, I like cutting hair. But is it something that you actually love doing? Do you have a real passion behind it? Because the like ain't going to push you to stay in it. Are you wanting to be a shop owner for the moment? Or for the next two, three years, or do you want your shop to stay open and go on for years and years and years? Do you want to have a shop and start a franchise? You see what I'm saying? Uh, you have to set yourself outside of everybody else, because everybody know, y'all drive past them all the time. It's a shop on every corner. But what's going to set you outside of your, your competitor? What's going to make your customer drive past three, four shops to come see you? Is it your conversation? Is it your skills? 
Is it the environment? You know, there's a, 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 a lot of negative about barbershops, especially our barbershops. And when I say I, I mean African American. Bad conversation. Who did this in the club? You know, BT music videos. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but your lifestyle outside of the shop should be your lifestyle outside of the shop. The shop is a business. So if John, Lil Tom Tom, whoever comes in your shop and they're not comfortable with whatever it is, it shouldn't even be a part of your business. You see what I'm saying? Without the customer, you don't have a business. You can, you can love it, you can like it, you can have all the passion in the world for it. But if you don't have a customer, then you don't have a business. Period, point blank. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm telling y'all now, man, I don't want y'all to get into this thinking that owning a barbershop is easy. Or the customer's gonna come because you know how to cut hair. Man, you got guys cutting in the, in the bathroom, you know, in the garage. There's nothing wrong with that. It's some cold barbers who, who, who got skills who cut in the bathroom in the barbershop. But the fact that you guys are going to get your paperwork, get, get, getting your real credentials, that sets you outside. That's one step. Uh, you know, you're going to have to know how to market your product. You're going to have to know who your target market is. Are you going to market men only? Are you going to market children only? Are you going to market women, men, and children? You know, and, and how are you going to do that? Your social medias, advertisement, magazines, newspaper, all that take money. And uh, being a shop owner, you have to really be that person that somebody is comfortable with working in your shop. Because you can't do it all by yourself. It's, it's good to know that you can handle your business alone if you didn't have a barber. You can pay your shop rent. You can pay your bills. You can advertise. It's, it's, it's good to have that, that, that cushion there. But you got to have a team. In order for you to grow and get big, you got to have a team. And everybody got to be on the same plane. You see what I'm saying? Your business is only going to be as good as the staff that you have inside of the shop. One bad apple will kill everything. One bad apple will kill everything.